What's up guys? Today we'll be doing some crappy fishing and potentially other panfish uh, in the late winter. And I have this right here. It's a mop jig, chenille mops. So if you guys like to use those microfiber cleaning cloths for your car, this is exactly what it is. I basically tie it on a jig head and I put a little bit of uh, crystal flash on it. And uh, yeah, I'm fishing on a float. We got an easy trout magnet float here and we got to be fishing, mm, I'll say one and a half to two feet uh, from the surface because we have this bay here and it has a lot of fish. So they're just chilling out and you just need to adjust your float to where it needs to be. I've been swimming the lure for all morning, uh, well, none of the lure, and uh, it was kind of slow picking. The water's still cold. So put it on the float, I have caught me so much more fish. I was just using this lure here. And um, yeah, I just want to try something a little different before I head back in. So I'm at it, at it again. And let's see if we catch some fish with this homemade lure. I mean, you guys asked for more homemade lure fishing trips. So here I am. Let's see if we get some good fish. All right. The first fish we caught for the day. Well, not for the day, but for this lure here is a crappie. Look at that. Dude, crappies love my mop jigs. Look at that. Amazing. All right, let's just put this back in and let's fish around this cove. This cove, warm, the sun's here. I think the wind's also blowing down this way because I have been flowing this way. So the warm water from the surface kind of picks up, congregate this area here. And fish loves that. It says 46 degrees here, but if I'm fishing back over there where the water's coming in from the, the creeks, it's actually 41. So you can see a huge difference. I mean, it might be warmer because it was 41 degrees when I was coming out. Uh, but yeah, I think the warm water that's congregated here is causing the fish to be a little bit more active than back over there. So it's gonna be pretty good. The last 30 minutes of fishing before I head back in. Oh, here we go. Talking, 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 and we catch fish. Look at that. Got another crappie. Look at that. All right, and this one, a little deep, so I gotta use my unhook them tool. Look at that. My de-gouger, de-hooker. Push and twist. Off we go. All right, I'm gonna get closer to these edges here. I don't know what kind of fish are hanging out here. Cause like I said, the wind is blowing towards this area. Oh, oh. Sometimes when you set the hook from a float, guys, watch out, don't hit your rod. You hit your rod, you're gonna have a crazy tangle on your rod. So make sure you dodge it really, really well. And there should be no problems. And look, there's a bite this time. And I set the hook again, no cigar. I wonder if it's a panfish, cause that is pretty shallow side. I know it's likely hit, hitting near the bottom. It's just lipping my lure. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. All right, well, you gonna play this game, then Jimbo's not gonna play the game with you. You gotta take it. You wanna be on YouTube, you have to take it. All right, let's try this, guys. Try the deeper water. All right, let's try that. Oh, 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 got him. Got him. All right. That's a good one. That is indeed a good one. Hey, 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 hey. Look at that. And plenty of more fish in the deeper water. All right, so it looks like they're kind of like the deep. So I'll cast towards the deep and swim it into the shallow. Look at that. Got him. Gonna be crappy after crappy. I mean, look look at my finder. See that finder? It's just showing non-stop fish action. They're just rolling through right now. Rolling through. Let's see, next cast should, should bite almost immediately. That is if they're on that side too, but they, they were, I mean, they're right underneath me. Swimming around. Look, 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 look. Boom, got them. That is a better one. Holy smokes. All right. It's gonna be crappies after crappies. All right. Hey, 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 easy. All right, guys. This is this is a great, great freaking fish. Oh. Okay. 
Here you go. Out he goes. Oh yeah, look at that. Another one, look, I mean, look at the water here. We've got every single bait here. Holy smokes. I don't know what's going on here, but there's big bass probably underneath too. There's this huge bait ball underneath me. Huge bait ball. Huge bait ball. Um, I, I, look, look, I'm putting this so close to me. Would I even catch anything? I don't know. Let's just be a little quiet, see what happens. Jiggle, jiggle, no. Look, so close, they're still biting. So close and they're biting. That's, that's insane. Action, guys, this action. I can't believe it. This, this is so much fun. I don't know where to go in though. So I'm gonna keep fishing this one spot. <laughs> Hope you guys uh, enjoy like 50 freaking crappy cuts. I don't know, like I, I could probably catch 50 and you know, edit the video nice and easy. Who knows, who knows? Come on. Oh, oh. Oh, set the hook. There it goes. Another one. Catching it behind me too. The wind is blowing, so it's kind of, kind of sucks for me to get the right angle. But this is fun, man. This is fun, fun, fun. Let's see if I can pop this out quick. Here we go. Back in the water. Oh. It popped, popped. Get down, get, get down. When the last time you heard it like this? Fish some, get some, get, oh! Dang it. Nope, Jimbo, you cannot sing while freaking fishing. That's bad luck. That's, they say it's bad luck. <laughs> you guys believe it's bad luck? I mean, you, you guys saw that, right? Man, look at all this activity here. You tell me they're not active? Ay! No, 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 Ay, yeah. Got him. Whew. All right, time to head out. Oh, 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 oh. Crappy day. Further water out, bigger slabs, I hope. Indeed it is. This guy's thick. I've been fishing those shallow water because that's where all the activity was and they were just dinks. Finally get some, something that's pretty thick. So now I'm gonna head out just a little bit further, just like that, where the fish were, were just uh, hitting and see if we get, get a few more big slabbies. If not, it's all good. Boom, got him. Not a big one, but still good fish. Got a, got a uh, hump you see here I'm fishing. And right now I'm going out of the hump. So let's see if there's any more fish going this way. After I unhook this fish. We're gonna use this guy here. Oh, there we go. Got another one to the right. Jesus Christ. Slab after slab, guys. All right, let me bring it this way. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh. All right, there we go. Power hooked. Don't count. Don't play with foul hooks. All right, guys, I just did a live stream out of nowhere, but I'm gonna head back because it is time to go. 
But as we head back, we of course gonna cast a few more times because I found them. I found them during the live stream, which is great. At first it was kind of dead, so I was just chit-chatting with my fans. So if you guys haven't watched that, you guys gotta chat, uh, check the top right-hand corner. But uh, I think uh, I might have gotten them. Oh, here we go. See, every single, ca oh, came off. Like every single cast. And look at that. What the heck is that swimming down? I probably spooked something and, oh, there's one right here. Slabs. Every single cast now. It's like a magic hole and a magic lure. Chuck them down. Watch this, guys. I'm not even gonna change it. I'm not gonna like snip this edit. Just to show you guys, throw it out there. Pop, pop. Oh, look, 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 it went down. Boom, set the hook. I found the magic, the, the honey hole. Magic lure, magic setup, and folks, this is getting bigger and bigger. I think uh, the deeper water has bigger fish. Oh, this is gonna be a breeder, so I'm not, I'm not gonna eat this guy. Look at that, huge. Let me just unhook him so you guys can see it better. Look at that, thick, very thick, good meat. And let me throw another one out, unedit it, so that you guys can see the action. Hopefully the school pod's still here. Oh, there it goes, boom, got him. All right, this time, <laughs> I probably just gotta stop the video here. But thank you for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video. There is a lot of fish here, like, holy smoke, this school here is huge, humongous. There's a lot of fish here. I think I caught over, uh, I would have to say 60 crappies today. Not everything's gonna make in the video because it gets really, really tiring to edit them and you guys probably don't want to see the same thing over and over again. But spring is here. You guys should not wait. Get out there, get similar setups, get some floats. Floats are not for noobs. Pros use it all the time. Uh, my buddy SK, he's talking about using uh, floats early in the season too. Uh, he's way pro -er than me when it comes to crappy fishing. So you guys gotta check out his channel and you guys will definitely catch more crappies. Listen to some of his advice, cause I'm telling you man, watch some of this stuff. Got some sound advice, man. But until then, tight lines, I gotta go catch some more crappies.